Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to film a quick intro for this video. This, I think, is one of my most requested videos ever and I finally got the confidence to get my camera out in the gym and film it for you. I just wanted to obviously say I'm not a PT, I'm not a gym expert, I'm just a dancer who enjoys going to the gym, has found a love for like lifting weights and yeah. I've just found the gym to be a space where I can put my headphones in, focus in on myself and just enjoy it. I think it is important to say that obviously every week is different. This is just this week. If you want me to film other weeks, let me know. That probably will be different. At the minute, I'm currently following the Shreddy app, but I add in my own exercises within that as well. So it's not strictly just that. It's not an ad for Shreddy. I wish it was. I really like the app. It just gives me something to follow. And like I said, I add my own stuff within that. That is the intro. I'm not going to ramble anymore. Details to everyone every session will be in the description because I know it's quite confusing me saying oh I did this I did that so it's all in the description if you want to follow it like I said everyone's different everybody's different and every week of training is different but without further ado I hope you enjoy subscribe if you haven't already I'd love to hit 40k subscribers soon I'm looking at you I hope you enjoy the video Okay, so I wanted to start my week with a full body session, starting with some sumo deadlifts. Obviously my legs are just in like a wider stance and slightly turned out for sumo deadlifts as opposed to a normal deadlift. I did four sets of 12 reps here and I did add a slight bit more weight, a slight bit more? I did add a little bit more weight as you guys will see in a minute. I also show you a little tip to help get the weight off the bar. If you slide a plate underneath like that and roll it on, this can help you like move them about a bit easier. Then moving on to clean and press. Um, it's kind of like a hinge at the hips movement and then push up at the top, um, kind of like a deadlift into an over the head like push sort of situation. Um, again, I did four sets of these of 12. Then going into bent over rows, I really like these, I find them quite enjoyable. Um, and again, same thing, I did four sets of 12 reps here. I then did a barbell squat with resistance band. This was really interesting for me as well, actually for all of these exercises to really look at my form because in no way am I a professional, I'm not a PT or anything. And it was really good for me to sort of be able to watch this and like correct myself and like see what I do well, or whatever. Um, but again, I think I just did four sets of 12 again here. It seems to be a common theme and it's quite a lot of legs for a full body day, but it was a good workout. I then moved on to some duck walks. The first time I did them I came up too high so I was just remembering to try and keep low and you feel more of a burn. I then went into burpees. I actually did five sets of 12 here and I'm not gonna lie guys it had been a while since I'd done a burpee and it's actually quite rare in my gym to see people do burpees. Also this gorgeous set that I have on I absolutely love it's from AYBL and if you want to purchase anything off there be sure to use the code Adina it really just helps my relationship with the brand and I'd really appreciate it because I absolutely love their gym wear. Okay so it's now the evening, those clips from the gym were from this morning. I'm now off to a dance class. This is my first class post lockdown, which I'm really excited about. I wanted to include this because obviously, normally, like when it's not lockdown, this is a huge part of my workouts and my fitness. Now, studios are open, I'll be doing this more and it'll be more in like my weekly routine. But I don't do it for fitness, I do it because I love it and to train. Um, and then afterwards tonight, I've actually got netballs. Um, I've started going to a netball team every week and it's just training tonight. But that is also super active. That's like two hours of pretty like intense activity. <laughs> um, so I don't think I will, I'm not comfortable asking if I can vlog any of that yet, but just I'll obviously fill you guys in after. So today is a very active day, like just seems to be the first day that I'm filming this video is like mega active. The rest of the week is pretty much just gym workouts. like a fit 
fitness diary or something. I have just finished netball. Someone actually did take a video, um, so I'm gonna see if I can get that and like slot that in. It was my day. It is honestly the most active day. The most active day I have had in months, like literally months. I just want to talk calories a sec, so I don't want that to trigger you. Um, I do have an Apple Watch. My Apple Watch is saying that I've burned 1,582 calories today, um, which again, like I said, is very rare, very active day, um, but it has been so much fun. I've loved it. Tomorrow I'm at work, but I think I'm going to go to the gym in the evening and hopefully it won't be too busy so I can actually film and I'm going to do legs tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow um, for day two of the workout week. The workout week. The week of workouts. Here's me looking like a bit of a dick trying to dry scoop pre-workout, but it is leg day. Um, so before any leg day, I like to do some activation. This just sort of like fires up the glutes and makes them really engaged for when I do the actual workout. Um, so I start off with crab walks, as you can see, and then go into some squats. I do about 30 seconds of each. And then I, oh, this is so unflattering, right? I saw this on TikTok, the best activation exercise, which I can actually agree with, it's great. You kind of hold this clam position um, for a minute each side and it does really burn. It really helps to activate the glutes. I started this workout with squats. I used a Smith machine. I used to not be a massive fan of the Smith machine, but I've grown to really like it. Uh, I just did, hello, I just did four sets of 12 here. I then did an exercise called Good Mornings and I've never actually done these before. So a great thing about the Shreddy app, it actually has videos showing you every single exercise. So like me, if you've never done a certain exercise, you feel like you have the comfort of someone showing you it properly. This is not an ad, I really wish it was. I just, I just like the app. Um, I still don't think I was doing them right, if I'm honest. I was watching myself do it in the mirror, trying to correct myself. But um, I'm gonna keep working on it, but I did enjoy doing them today and it's obviously good to try new things. Um, it's good for the muscles. I then moved on to some sumo squats, but I used quite a heavy dumbbell and added like a pulse at the bottom. I just did um, three sets of 12 here and then moved into jumping sumo squats and I did three sets of 10 here also. I did this session after I had my dinner and by this point I was finding it like, you know, when you eat and you can feel your food, I was quite uncomfortable. But um, on the Shreddy app it did say dumbbell hip thrust, which I usually set up a big barbell, but today I use a dumbbell and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a massive fan. It was like pushing on my belly and hurting my hips, I can't lie. But I did it, I did. I did three sets of 12 here in the end. And then, I don't know why this looks so funny because it's so far away, I just moved on to the leg extension. I did five sets of 12 here. I finished off my workout with some abductions. Um, I, again, saw this exercise on TikTok and really liked it. It's about using a lighter weight but pulsing, pulsing it out. I think I ended up doing about 20 to 30 reps here, either three or four times, either three or four sets. Um, this was a great finisher for this session, obviously working the outer glutes, outer glutes, side glutes, you guys know what I mean, but you could properly feel the burn. Okay, we are now on to Wednesday's session. I did an upper body session today. I started off with some bent over rows. I just did five sets of eight reps here. I then moved on to wide shoulder press. I did five sets of 12 here as well. Moving on, we have some tricep pull downs and I just did four sets of eight reps here as well. I actually really enjoy training upper body. 
and then did some face pulls. Now you can cut, oh, I was kind of struggling there. You can see that one foot is slightly in front. I just rotate that each time and I did four sets of eight there. And then a single cable pull down. I think it was my first time doing this. I just sort of sat on my knees um, and did, I think I did 12 reps one way and 12 the other way. And I did that for one, two, three, four, five sets. I do have it written down, I'm just looking at it. And then finishing off with some dumbbell front raises and some dumbbell upright rows. I just did four sets of 12 here also. And that was the end of that workout. Okay, then Thursday, I didn't end up going to the gym because I had a netball match Wednesday night. Um, so this is Friday. Now, Friday, I did another full body, starting with some dumbbell chest presses. Um, you can see my spare camera battery in my pocket this whole workout. I then did some dumbbell walking lunges. It kind of looked like me and this guy were doing like a little collab here. Um, but I just did four sets of 12 here. And for the dumbbell press, I did five sets of 12. I then moved on to some high knees. I just did 30 seconds of high knees four times. I will leave obviously all of this in the description because it's quite confusing me saying it. Um, to be checking my watch because I wanted it to be over. I then moved on to some dumbbell clean and presses. I did this with a barbell at the beginning of the week um, and with the dumbbell I just like to make sure my form is good. I then did some dumbbell bent over rows and just switched between the sides. I ended up doing uh, five sets here, 10 each side. And then if you do these, you'll get some good old stairs in the gym. You just sort of squat with a dumbbell into a star jump. Um, they're really good. I actually enjoy doing these. Oh, hairs in my mouth. I finished off this workout today with some sprints. I did 10 minute sprints, 30 seconds on, like a high fast sprint. I did end up going faster than showed you. I think I got up to like 12.4 um, and then 30 seconds off. Okay, final workout of the week. This was Saturday morning um, and it is a leg session. So I did the same activation as I did before, but I thought there's no point filming it again. But I do do that before every leg session, starting with some sumo deadlifts. I did four sets of 10 reps here. And then this is me showing you this, I actually don't know what you call it. I will leave it linked in the description, but you put it on the bars when you're doing like hip thrusts or squats um, to stop it either hurting, as you can see, like your hip bones or your shoulders whatever but it's such an essential if you want to start lifting weights um, definitely get one it makes everything so much easier so here doing my hip thrust sorry that was a lot of information a lot of information and not enough time I did four sets of 12 here um, and I tried quite a heavy weight today for those for the glutes so let's get them going I then moved on and did single leg press. Now I find these are good for sort of isolating your glutes and like your quads and stuff on like each individual leg. I just did 10 of these on each leg three times. So three sets of 10 on each leg, that is what I just said. And then moved on to a close leg press. So my feet are quite narrow, they're quite close together. Okay, so this next exercise I do, I saw on TikTok um, someone really recommending it to grow the glutes, but bear with me with my explanation because I can't find it. So it's kind of like a deadlift with a heavy dumbbell. As you can see, my toes are raised on two plates. You start and you only come up kind of halfway. I was coming up more though because I felt like I wasn't feeling it as much if I didn't come up more, if you get me. And then as you can see, I move my feet outside of the plates to create a more wider stance. And then I continue the same exercise just with my feet slightly wider. And you're supposed to do, I can't remember if it was 12 or 20, right? And it's quite a big difference. You just go with what you feel. I think I did 12 straight into 12. I believe I probably did that. Mm. But the key is to go straight from one to the other. I did take a little break because this is tough. 
probably feel it. I then did some Bulgarian split squats, but I used a dumbbell in my hand. Apologies for this awful angle. The gym was so busy at this point and this was the only position I could put my camera. I ended up doing three sets of 10 on each leg and then I finished with some kickbacks with my resistant band. This was supposed to be on the machine, the cable machine, but it was full and at this point I'd I kind of had enough, I was so tired that I wanted to get it over. So I did 12 on each leg for three sets and then finished with some like fire hydrants, kind of like, you look like a dog wee in to the side. Again, I just did three sets of 12 each side. So guys, that is it for my week of workouts. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you'd like me to do more of these videos, just let me know, leave me some gym, workout, fitness related emojis in the comments so I know you made it to the end of this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. So much love and I'll see you on Sunday for a weekly vlog. Bye.